Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to align text in a number of different ways in Word. So I'm just going to add some random text. And I'm just going to move that down into a set of paragraphs. Let's just get rid of these. Yeah, right click and ignore them. OK, so we've got some sample text here. And by default, everything generally aligns over to the left of your document. So if we go up to the Home tab here and then go along to this section here, these are all of your alignment tools. Now, if I just click on Center, you can see Word has only adjusted the paragraph where my cursor lies. So if we go back, if you want to select all of your text, you can click and drag all of your text. Or if you have a long document, you can just press Command or Control A on your keyboard and it will select all of your text. Then you can just go up and select one of these icons. Obviously, there's the center text icon. And we've got Align to Right. And then we've also got Justify, which means that your text will fit along both edges of the margins. So it's completely your choice. So that's a really simple way to align your text. Now, there are lots of other ways to do this. And the most versatile way is using a text box. So let's say, for example, you wanted this section here to be a quote. Let's just put that in a different font. And we just increase that font size by using that up arrow here. Now, let's just say that you wanted this as a quote, but you wanted it actually to sit in the center of your document here, but you didn't want to use all the tab keys and it's, it can get really annoying. So if we just go to insert and along to this icon here that says text box, click on this drop down and select draw text box. Then all you need to do is take your cursor to your document and just click and drag out a text box. It doesn't matter how big or small it is because you can adjust them all. Now, if we just click away from this, you can see it has a borderline around it. But don't worry, we'll get rid of all of that and show you how to move this around your document. All we're going to do first is select this text here. And then we're going to copy it. So you can go up to the Home tab and then select this icon here, Copy. Or you can use your shortcut keys, Command or Control C. Then double click inside this text box so that your cursor is over here to the left. And then just press the Paste key. You can go up to the Home tab and press Paste. Or you can press your Command or Control V key as a shortcut on your keyboard. Now you can see that text is inside this text box. Now the great thing about this text box is that when you move it and increase or decrease the size of it, your text will move accordingly. So if we get rid of this text here, just going to select it and press the delete key. If we want to put this up where that original text was, you can see it doesn't quite fit. So what we need to do is decide how big this text wants to be in our document. And we also want to center this text as we did before. So I'm going to double click inside the text box again. And I can either select and drag my text or I can just press Command or Control A again and it will select all of this text. Then again, go to the Home tab and across to Center Text or Align to Center. I'm just going to make this text box a little bit smaller here. So if I say that's the size I want this quote to be, I've got to make a little bit of room for it up here. So I'm going to pop my cursor up here. Then I'm just going to hit the Return key just to make a space for it. And then I'm simply going to click and drag it up to the top here. Now, if for any reason you can't move this text box because you try to pull it and it doesn't go anywhere, if you just right click on it and go down to wrap text, you can select any of these options. Now, at the moment, I've selected in front of text. Now, what that means is if I go, you see, I go over the top of that text and the text behind vanishes because I've put that over the top. Now, if I right click, and go to wrap text and select tight, what will happen is the text will move around my text box. So you can see as I move it round, the text will wrap itself around that text box. 
Now, to make sure this text box is perfectly lined up into the center of your document, select it, go to Shape Format, and then go along to Align, and click the drop down and select Align to Center. Now you can see that quote there is lined up in the center, but if we click away, we've still got this border. So select it, go to Shape Format, Go along to Shape Outline, click on the drop down and select No Outline. Then click off and you can see that that box has disappeared. Now you can move this text box with your arrow key keys if you like, or you can move it with your mouse. Now there are other options in the Wrap Text dialog box here in the menu. You can also go to Top and Bottom. If you select that one, it will mean that as you pull your text box down, all the lines of text will jump. They won't, go, they won't wrap themselves around the text box, they'll just go to the top and bottom. Now if you find that the spacing around your text box is too tight, so let's just go back to tight. So if I put this text box here and I click away, if you find that this distance here between the text itself and the main body of text is too narrow, the space here, then if you click on your text box, right click, go back down to wrap text, and at the very bottom here, it says more layout options. Click on that, and you have this dialog box. If you go to text wrapping, and then right down to the bottom here, you've got this left and right distance from text option. You can do the top and bottom as well, but if we go to here and select one centimeter for all of these options, you don't have to, you can select less or more if you want to, and then select OK. When you move this round now, it creates a much greater margin or distance between the text and the main body of text or the text box and the main body of the text. And that's how you can adjust that. So I generally find that if I go to wrap text and I go to top and bottom, then it will allow me to just coordinate my text beautifully. Now the other thing that people struggle with with this is that sometimes if you begin to type, you can see that this text box will move with your text. Now for some of you that will be absolutely perfect, but others you want this quote to stay exactly where it is and the text to move around it. If you would like this text box to remain exactly where it is, then right click, go down to wrap text, go down to fix position on page. And now if I begin to type or I move my cursor down here, you can see that the text will move, but my text box will remain in position. Now, of course, you can do this with multiple text boxes. If I copy and paste this text box, my really quick way to do that is to hit your Alt or Option key on your keyboard whilst you're hovering over your text box. Just click and drag, and you will actually duplicate that text box. And that's great. If you formatted all this, taking the borders out and maybe the background out, and you want to just duplicate it, then you can do that a really simple way. And then if the font is perfect for you as well, then you can just go ahead and change the text. You don't have to go through all that customization. So if I decided then I wanted to create another quote like this, let's just increase that text slightly. Then I can do that. But also what's great about these text boxes is that you can really change the shape of them. So let's just take this off, there we go. So you can change the shape of them and you can move them. I'm going to change the wrapping on this one to tight. So if you want a more column based text box, you can, and you can move that alongside your other text box if you want to, and you can move these wherever you like. So generally, if I just center that one again, Go to align, align to center. So generally, if you want to put any text in your Word document, you can do that by basically using the main body of the text and text boxes as well. 
and that will allow you to pretty much move any text anywhere in your document and align it perfectly. And sometimes it can be more helpful than using the columns because these text boxes give you so much flexibility. The other great thing about these text boxes very quickly is that if you do duplicate them and you wanted several quotes but you wanted them to line up, what you can do is select all of them. So hold your command or control key down on your keyboard, select them all, go up to shape format, go along to align and first of all distribute them horizontally which will distribute all of the text boxes equally. So click on that and it will mean there's an equal distance between each text box. Then go back up to align and then select align to top or align to middle or align to bottom, it doesn't matter. And then they will all line up perfectly. Then if you want to group them, select group and it will allow you to move them around together like this. And then to ensure they're in the middle of your document, once again, go to align and select align to center. And then you can align all of your text in that way, which again is a really useful tool to have. So I hope that helps you today. If it does, please subscribe and have a great day.